Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna talk about Boreas's nerf and the way that Moonton addressed this nerf and is going to address it moving forward. So I'm not gonna talk specifically about the nerf itself because most of you probably have already seen it. Uh, basically they want to increase his anti-healing which was not something that anyone wanted anyway but I guess that's happening and uh, reduce a big chunk of his overall damage reduce his um, his area of effect and reach um, and basically yeah make him uh, less of a beast than he is right now and uh, yeah he did actually need a nerf so that's not up for discussion but uh, the way that they addressed this and the way that they are trying to play it safe ever since the backlash I think is a bit concerning for me in terms of how Moonton is actually addressing this situation but there's also a ray of hope because this uh, ever recent concern that they told us that uh, never recent uh, concern for our opinion is actually pretty interesting and hopeful because this is what you like to see when somebody makes a mistake you want them to take accountability and want to do better moving forward so basically half of it Moonton has already done they've told us that this is not going to be uh, the final version of the nerf or the so-called um, the so-called rework and uh, even though they didn't quite take accountability as they should have they are willing to get in touch with content creators listen out and I don't know make a summary of opinions and work on a uh, test basis um, even though they should have tested it themselves so what I think is that they should be a little bit more careful in the futures in regards to how they test their heroes I know that in a gacha games in, a, in gacha games in usual um, you'd want characters to be appealing to be powerful to feel powerful and this is exactly what Boreas felt like but it was to such an extent that people that didn't have him actually felt very weak so that's not what you want to do you want people to want to have something to look forward to to want to spend for something but uh, you don't want people to actually feel at a, such a big disadvantage if they don't have that something for example um, the way that they approached uh, the Vierna and Silas bond I think that was um, a good example on how you can actually um, incentivize people to increase the amount of time and work and resources and money that they put into the game in order to increase the account, their account Silas is very good if uh, I had Vierna and I've saved a lot of summons for Silas and for Lust as well and this is a good strategy to increase the power of an account but not make it so insane of a difference that you feel like you need that Silas I didn't feel like I need that Silas I didn't feel like I couldn't do any piece of content without Silas. I knew that Void Drift is going to be much easier. Nightmare Void Drift is going to be much easier. I knew that Guild Boss is going to improve if I get Silas, which is especially because I had the Vierna Bond. But ever since I got Boreas, I'm telling you, my account has spiked. Like uh, after I got Boreas, I cleared Gear Raid 1 and 221. I was killing it in Arena and uh, talking about the arena this is actually what i think they should be doing i think they should be um they should have or they should be reducing his overall reach i mean getting his overall area of effect from 4.5 to 3.5 like they are willing to do it now and don't 
don't actually do anything else. I don't think anything else is required. I, ca I think that they can even delete his anti-healing altogether. I don't think the anti-healing is that much of a needed future for him. In, in, yes, it makes him very viable for, um, for gear 8 1, but that's not necessarily his uh, identity. His identity is Frost is freezing targets, immobilizing them, dealing more damage based on targets that are already frozen and his identity, I mean look at him, he's basically uh, ice, an ice god, like you'd want this to feel powerful, they made him look good, you want him to be good, but judging by what they want to do to him, it really feels like he's going to be viable at most i don't think he's going to be at the comet level or as silas is in single target dps but in aoe i don't think he's going to remain at that level i think comet is still going to outperform him after this uh, if if they go the nerfs go through as as, it, as they are right now and i think a lot of people will be disappointed but most importantly, I think that they should be revisiting and reconstructing a way of satisfying the player base that actually gave them a lot, like I mean a lot of money on during the last Christmas event just to obtain Boreas. Like those people have got to feel really bad right now. And if they feel like they don't want to spend any more on this game, it's justifiable. Because, let's be real, you wanna spend for a hero that looks good, you wanna spend for a hero that feels good to play, that improves your account, uh, and after you get him, and you get that satisfaction of getting him, there is such a big feeling of... Um, un uh, of such a, an underwhelming feeling after you know that your favorite character is going to be nerfed as you can see i um, i mean borea i'm not gonna be a hypocrite boreas helped me through a lot but i still agree with with the nerfs like they did an oopsie with him he's a bit too powerful but i really think that in hindsight they should be more careful as to how they test their heroes in the future but also as to how they approach their player base because Mm, the message in the Forerunner server concerning the, ner the Boreas's nerf sounds a little bit without any... Basically, it sounds like they are not properly taking responsibility for what's happening and they brush off the fact that uh, quite a bunch of their player base is going to suffer from, from this mistake that they've done. So they need to find a proper way of compensation for this mistake. They cannot just pass by 300 diamonds and say, hey, oopsie, look what we find out. We were surprised. I think they need to actually, I don't know, maybe um, provide something bigger, like uh, give people the amount of uh, skill shards that they used for him for example or um, i don't know make it possible for if you have for example multiple copies of him make it uh, in a way that you can actually disassemble those copies for legendary um, legendary awakening stones right i think uh, even though my, some people might find it uh, might find it as a too big of a reward i really think it it isn't because if you think about it those people actually spent money to get boreas and uh, also those people are not going to have s the same hero that they spent money on right so if you want to for example get rid of your copies because you don't you no longer want boreas a3 or a2 or whatever you can get let's say for a2 to awake legendary awakening stones that you can use on another hero that is, isn't quite as mediocre as you might uh, uh, as boreas might be after the nerves um 
and uh, yeah basically I don't think it's going to be too much of a reward to give the legendary skill crystals I, as long as you get rid of the copies of Boreas um, I think it's going to make a lot of the player base actually quite um, less annoyed and less prone to complain and uh, not spend in the future I think they are going to feel hurt I think they are going to feel like uh, the um, knife isn't actually twisted in their wound uh, with uh, nice and political words in uh, forerunner message um, still I don't want to throw shit around uh, I, I really think Moonton does a great job in uh, comparison to a lot of other companies I know that uh, all in all Moonton is in is an organization it's a company that wants to make a profit and it's perfectly understandable but uh, they should be wary of the people that are helping them reach the, those profit goals and uh, that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to say um, let me know what you think about the Boreas nerf and his um, his upcoming uh, news. Uh, let me know what you think about Moonton communicating and their willingness to accept feedback. Uh, and I don't know, maybe give some prediction in the comments below. I'm responding to every single comment that I see. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, this has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. Bye bye.